Hey sports fans, Coach Nick here and welcome to V-Ball Breakdown. I am pleased to present to you some of Fast Model's most popular plays. Today we're going to go through the dribble drive motion offense, uh, something that Vance Wahlberg uh, created and guys like John Calipari at Memphis ran to great success. Today we're going to show you the Euro cut option out of it in the basic way and it really just starts very simply with a guard on top, again two guard front, he's got his inside foot on the lane line and they want to attack the elbows because remember most defenses don't want you to get into the middle of the court and there's a reason because a lot of bad things happen to them so obviously in this kind of offense you want to get to the middle of the court. So it starts very easily with a quick drive to the court to the elbow, boom. Now the guy in the corner is going to fill up to give him a pass to, to release pressure. What they're hoping for is that whoever's guarding him might want to help off a little bit one pass away. That could be a shot, but as the dribble drive continues, he is now going to catch and on the catch attack split foot to that, again to that corner. This is the Euro cut. So when you have the weak side guard loop in behind the penetration there, he is hoping that his man will help one pass away and that would be a shot. We see that a lot in the Euro game, it's a great little cut. Now he doesn't get it there, and he, the shot there, so he kicks it back out to the four and he replaces. Now let's go back one last time because there's some timing issues I want to go over with how this uh, plays out. So let's go back Jeremy to the wing. In fact, why don't we go back to, to uh, this um, Anthony over here. So as you kick it out, boom, watch this, he's going he's gonna to attack right on the catch, good. Now as soon as he gets to the lane line on that second penetration, that is when he is going to loop in behind him there and then when the big guy is going to loop on the other side here to the uh, right side block. So there's a timing issue. He doesn't want to go too early and get his men in the way. So now you can kind of see what's happening here. We might get a shot here. If this guy's man's falling asleep, he might be able to fill up high and look, let's look for the opening. But we'll keep him down on the corner for right now. And then we have uh, this a kickback for the loop, the loop cut. And give it to him right now. So now he loops right back out here. Now remember, this should be open because if his man stopped him here, he's probably thinking, oh my god, thank goodness I didn't get a penetration and give up anything, right? So he might relax a little bit, and that's when that loop cut works really well. So we can swing it, boom, now we have the same kind of thing. He's going to attack that corner, he's going to fill up here, boom, loop to the corner, you're going to attack that corner, you're going to do a Euro cut here, kick it back, good. And you can see how we do it in a simple exchange. So now we're getting real simple attacking that corner from the uh, guard spot and the forward spot. It's symmetrical and it flows and it's pretty simple. You can put this in in one day at the high school level and cause some problems if they're going to play man to man against you. Okay. Shoot it. Nice shot. Kick. Good. Yes, I love it. One important part of the footwork in the dribble drive motion is catching the ball split foot off of the hop. And Jeremy does a great job of doing that. So let's analyze how he does this so we don't worry about traveling and we can be explosive. So as the dribble drive comes to that corner of the elbow, watch how he catches the ball and then freeze. Good. So he's trying to catch the ball as it's coming to him split foot already. Now you go to the direction of whichever foot is forward. So as his left foot is forward, he's now going to be going that direction to attack in the middle. Let's, let's see that in real time. So it's quick and it's smooth and subtle, but I want you to understand that when you're catching that ball, he's splitting right as the ball's in the air. So as the ball's in the air on the way to him and he's going to catch it, boom, it's like this. Now you don't see any of that travel that they call all the time, especially at the college level. Your foot's already down, you're low and explosive, and you can just push it off and go. And that's what you see Kawhi Leonard do at the pros. He's terrific at it. Because don't forget, if you try and do that hop, you can actually keep your feet parallel and then it's a shot. Or if you're reading the defense and they get close enough, you split and you go. Two different ways of doing it, but it's the really key for balance explosion and not traveling. 
Another option you can run is what we call the loop, which is a hyper-fast, hyper-aggressive way to attack. It starts the same way as the Euro does, and you can get a lot of different kind of shots out of this very quickly. As you can see, this starts the same exact way. Instead, we do a cross-court pass to the weak side corner, who's lifting to the wing. So watch what happened. The loop is what the, the two guard just did. After he kicked it out to the weak side, he loops into the corner. And now we have a nice spacing here. Same rule applies though. As we drive, when he gets to the lane line, he's going to loop around. We get a Euro loop. So now we get that shot. Shoot it. That's a tough one. Nice. Nice. While many offenses have interchangeable parts, it's important to understand why sometimes coaches will get these guys running in different positions and they get the wrong guy shooting. So when you're running this kind of dribble drive, if you have a shooter who doesn't dribble so much, the weak side guard should be where he starts. Because if you look at how this all works out, he constantly loops back and forth on that Euro cut to get the shot outside. And he's never the guy actually uh, attacking. And that's what you want if he doesn't dribble that well. You want him looping behind because eventually he will get that shot and he'll loosen up the defense enough where the drive will then open up as well. So show us how that works. Go back and forth a couple times and you're going to notice how he never actually has to catch the ball and, and, and dribble drive. Good. So there you have it, sports fans. That is a dribble drive motion at its basic form with a couple different options. And it's a really fun offense to run, and you got to do a lot of individual skill development to make sure those guys can catch the ball and attack the right way, catch it and shoot, and make decisions at a lightning quick pace. But it's a really great offense, and you can find a lot more offenses and defenses and everything at Fast Model. So check out their site and use their app because it's an amazing way for you to de design your own plays as well. Well, don't forget, sports fans, at B-Ball Breakdown, we're not a channel, we're a conversation. You win.